All right, this will be number three from uh, the Calc A, B, and B, C Form B exams in the year 2011. And uh, it's kind of an area of volume-y type of question. Uh, we're given the graph. We're told f of x is radical x and g of x is 6 minus x. And the first thing we need to do is find the area of region R. Um, and region R is, I mean, there's two pieces to it. There's the first piece, which will be um, the integral of f of x from 0 to 4. Um, which is the top takeaway bottom, and then plus the integral from 4 to 6 of uh, g of x, which is 6 minus x dx. All right, so now we just have to evaluate that. Um, so we have x to the 1 half, so if you add 1 to the exponent, that gives you 3 halves, so times a reciprocal, so 2 thirds, and then x to the 3 halves, and evaluated from 0 to 4, 0, of course, being a good bound to have, because it'll make everything drop out. And then plus, what I'm going to do here is, uh, I could integrate that and all, but I'm just going to use geometry because I noticed that is a triangle. Um, so that's going to be one half, the base is two, and the height is two. So here I get two thirds, and then when I plug in four, I have to take the square root, which is two, and then cube it, which gives me eight. So that, and then plus that simplifies down to two. So the area I'm looking for is 16 thirds plus two, which is 22 thirds, and that's the whole deal. All right, the next part, we are told that um, we're gonna build a solid and things are perpendicular to the y-axis. So it's kind of important to draw in that little strip right there. And uh, if it's in terms of, if it's with respect to y, we're gonna need to solve everything for x. So this curve becomes x equals six minus y, and this curve becomes x equals y squared. All right, now the cross-sections are rectangles, so I know that the area of a rectangle is base times height. So it's going to be the integral from, now it's dy, so it goes from 0, and then all the way up to 2. And base times height, so the base is in the region R, so that's going to be right take away left. So the right curve is 6 minus y, and then take away the left curve is y squared. And then I have to multiply by the height, and we're just holding the problem that the height is 2y. So that's just going to be times 2y, and then dy, and there's your base, there's your height, and if we were to evaluate that, it would give us a volume, but the problem says not to, so we're not going to. All right, the next problem. Um, we're supposed to find a point on f, the function f, um, where the tangent line is perpendicular to uh, g. So basically, if I extend g like that, and I kind of estimate it, it's somewhere between 0 and 1 based on my picture. Um, so what I need first is the slope of g of x, which is easy enough to get. I mean, you don't really need a derivative, it's just a line. Um, so the slope of g of x is negative 1, so the slope of a perpendicular line would just be positive 1. So what I really need is for f prime of x to equal 1, and then I'll solve that. So let's find f prime of x, just a little power rule, 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Solve this equation, 1 half x to the negative 1 half equals 1. Uh, multiply by 2, and then uh, raise both sides of this thing to the negative second power. All right, if you don't like negative exponents, you could have made that 1 over x to the 1 half and then done some cross multiplying and so on. Eventually, you're going to end up the same place I end up. So we get x is 1 fourth. We need the y value because we're looking for the actual coordinates. So y is going to be f of 1 fourth, which is the square root of 1 fourth, which is 1 half. Um, and that's, I mean, if you look at the picture, I, I almost got that. Um, but anyway, the coordinates point P are 1 fourth comma 1 half, and uh, that's the entire problem. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.